is Aaron. I'm from Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, and I came into Lifeline Connect exactly 10 months ago today for an opiate addiction. Um, as you can see from my picture, I had done a lot of things to push everybody away. I had modified my body. I had done all kinds of things to get everybody to leave me alone. I didn't want anybody to talk to me. I didn't want anybody to look at me. I didn't want anybody to pay any attention to me. I just wanted to be left alone. I felt like I was a mistake. And then from God working through Lifeline Connect, God spoke to me and he said, you are not a mistake. Right. You can make mistakes, but you cannot be a mistake. Right. And God is talking to someone in here. You may have made some mistakes in your life, but you cannot be a mistake. And through the power of God, he is transforming my life. He is transforming my family. He is restoring my marriage. He is, giving, he is uh, bringing healing into my entire family. And God is not a respecter of persons. If he can do it for that guy right there, right. he can do it for you. Right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I've been here for about eight months. My name's Josh. I'm from South Carolina. And I don't know that guy. Right. right. I don't want to know that guy. That guy was a liar. He was addicted to heroin, crack cocaine. And being in Lifeline, it has shown me what it is to have integrity, what it is to be a man of integrity, what it is to actually love somebody. I didn't love anybody. I didn't love myself. I hated everybody around me. But through Lifeline and through God, yes. he has made crazy changes in my life. There's things going on right now, and it's not easy by no means, but there's a difference in between have to do something and wanting to do something. All right. If you want to change, it'll happen. Come God is on, on your right side. Here. Come on, man. Yes. Hello, my name is Kevin. Uh, I'm from Appleton, Wisconsin. And I came to Lifeline because uh, for the past 25 years of my life, crack cocaine has stolen just about everything I've ever had. It has stolen my freedom, it has stolen my children, it has stolen my wife, my family, it has stolen my purpose, it has stolen my direction, it has stolen my identity. And I knew that if I came to Lifeline Connect, that God would use this ministry to restore everything that had been stolen from me from this drug. And I'm so thankful that since I've been here, I've been here about 90 days, and God has already restored almost everything to All me. Right. My joy, my peace, my confidence, my purpose, my direction in life. And I just can't wait for what you, to see what He's going to do for the rest of my life. Thank you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Brenton. I'm 29 years old. I've been a lifeline for two months now and man that's that's a man that was just lost in sin and darkness and, and death and uh, I just thank God for his hand his mighty hand yeah. and his love and his mercy I did not know his love his right. love is so powerful and I ran into a church one night and I had some kids young little kids pray for me and these kids had power. I, uh, they had power. And God just moved on me. And his UPC church and that, that minister knew of Lifeline. And God led me to Lifeline. And I've only been here two months. But God is restoring my soul. Praise He's showing me the love. Thank you, God. The love that he has for every single one of us. Amen. And I know I'm going to be a minister Amen. to the lost and the hurting. All right. And to show them the love of Jesus Christ. By the power of his spirit. And we yeah. are going to shake this community. Yeah. I can feel it in the Holy Ghost right now. We are going to shake this community. Amen. And uh, I just thank everyone here. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you. Amen. God is good. Amen. My name is Jamie Carls. I'm 47 years old. I'm from uh, Toledo, Ohio. Uh, my drug of choice was alcohol, and I've been at it for a long time. Um, and I 
come and say, emphasize I, because I made the choices. I was brought up in an apostolic home. My dad was a pastor. And late teens walked away from God and um, wanted to do my own thing, take control. And uh, just bad decisions. I was successful by the world's terms. Um, started business at 23 years old. Got married at 30. Had successful uh, business, uh, partnership in a family business as well. Had two kids, life was going good, but alcohol was still behind the scenes. Yeah. And, and it caught up with me. Uh, finally, my wife had enough uh, and, and I lost my family. Ended up losing my business all in a couple of years and found myself with nothing. And for the past 10 years um, after that, in and out of rehabs, going through jobs, just failed at everything. And then uh, March 19th of 2016, after about a week long drinking binge, I called Brother Brown and said, I need help. You know, I knew my heart was, hurt, was broken. Uh, and five days later, I was at Lifeline. And Lifeline, since being there, before I came to Lifeline, I was telling people what I was going through. Now I get to tell people what God's brought me out yeah. of. Yeah. So I'm so thankful for that. Today, I God's restoring my family, my kids' relationship with me, and I know I have hope, I have peace, and I have a purpose. Yeah. And I'm so thankful for that. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. All right. My kids don't want to come up here with me. November 13th of 2015, I came to Lifeline Connect. I was broken, lost, hopeless. I had no hope. Come here, baby. I had no hope. I, I walked away from God about 13 years ago, had a calling on my life, about a 13-year addiction. And it, it catapulted about five years ago. I had a son that passed away because of my addiction. And um, I just hit rock bottom, opiates, crack cocaine, alcohol, anything you put in front of me, I took it. It didn't matter what it was, I did it. I was trying to numb every single pain in my body that I had because I didn't want to think about my son's death because I, 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 I felt guilty and I blamed myself and I had that false belief that I wasn't good enough. But like I said, in November 13th of 2015, I was standing outside of Epistolic Life's doors and I'm telling you what, it changed my life. Every time I went hard, Lifeline Connect went hard. They always matched my commitment level. I remember RJ said, if you go hard, Joy will we'll go hard too. And I remember God, about three months in the program, he spoke to me and he said, stand on my promises because I'm faithful to my word. And I'm telling you what, I gave it all in Lifeline Connect. I graduated thir uh, three months ago and three months ago, I got full custody of all three of my children, signed a lease to my new home. I work for the biggest HVAC company in Champaign County. Got a new car, got my driver's license. The sky is the limit with me and my kids. I know I got a purpose. I'm so excited what God has planned for me and my three children, because I know it's awesome. It's a fact. It's a promise, yeah. and I'm standing on it. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Mark DePlacido. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. My drug of choice was heroin, methamphetamines. It didn't start there, though. It started the first time I watched pornography, it started the first time I received the message of the world through music and through worldly movies that told me who I had to be. That told me I had to act tough. That told me I, had, I could not show emotion and I could not be vulnerable with anybody. My lowest point, I ran from my past, I ran from my problems all the way to El Paso, Texas from St. Louis. I was on the border of Mexico, homeless. That is when I cried out to God for the very first time because I had absolutely nothing 
and I was broken down completely. I raised my hands and I said, Jesus, if you're real, please help me. I need you, God, down here. Please help me. And that's when things started coming back together. All right. So I made it back to St. Louis and made it to Lifeline Connect. That is when God taught me that I can open up. I can be vulnerable with him. I can be vulnerable with the people around me. And I don't have to fear anymore. Now, I work for Lifeline Connect. I'm a part-time staff member. God has given me a Sunday school ministry. I teach Sunday school at Apostolic Life. I am a student at Parkland College. And the future's looking bright. So, I want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Drew Cook. I'm from uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I was raised in church. My father's a pastor. This church actually reminds me an awful lot of the church that I grew up in. That's why I love coming here so much. Um, I had troubled youth, even though my father was a pastor and I knew truth. Um, it was something that I kind of rode my father's coattails on. I never really got it for myself. And because of that, I, ch- I made some real bad decisions that led me down some dark, dark roads. Uh, <clears throat> this all kind of came to a head when I got injured. My back was injured, and uh, I got introduced to painkillers, which led to a very severe heroin addiction. And uh, I remember going up to the altar and praying, and I just keep running those same old walls. I get to a certain point, and I would just run face first into that nicotine addiction, that, that heroin addiction. And even if I could get past that, I'd, have, I'd always have that broken back, you know, these ruptured discs that were going to just be an endless source of pain. So I, there wasn't even any reason to try. Uh, and when I heard that song tonight, I got so excited because... God is a miracle worker. Yes, yeah. And I have a story, I have a testimony that says he is yes. because he healed my back in the yes. service one night. When I ran into the wall, when I thought I ran into a wall, I really ran into the miracle worker. Because I came home later that night and realized that I didn't have any more pain. And the devil realized he didn't have that ace up his sleeve anymore. God, was, God is a way maker because he made a way for me to come to Lifeline Connect when I should have been going to jail. Light in the darkness. You don't know darkness until you walk out of the light in the darkness. It's darker than anything you ever imagine. But God showed up in my darkness. And he led me through through this program that worked on my heart. You know, I've seen a lot of guys come through the program and they get instantly delivered of the physical addiction. And it happened with Wes, right? But fortunately, God takes his time to heal our heart because it brings us into a closer relationship with him. That's how I came to know so much about God and become so close to God because he took the time to heal these things one by one on a very intimate level. And now, uh, I have a great job with a company called Lands. Wes works for them too. They've been great to us and they've really opened up a lot of doors and took a chance on us that we really didn't deserve. Uh, I'm giving back. You know, I'm helping other guys walk through their darkness. Yes. And I'm, I'm really appreciative for that. Yes. Thank God that he's using me in that way. Yes. And uh, just just encourage you, you know, to support this program. And yes. if you have family, if you're struggling with addiction, if you have family that's struggling with addiction, just don't give up hope. Amen. God is a way maker. And he's yes. a way yes. And if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Yes. Yes.